The world's largest hydropower event is ongoing at Music City Center in Nashville, Tennessee. The Corps of Engineers is participating in showcasing its local hydro projects. The Chief of Engineers even added to an electric atmosphere with powerful opening remarks. Lieutenant General Thomas Bostick energized more than 3,000 people from over 50 countries when he highlighted the need for hydro experts to come together to focus on the challenges of global hydropower during the keynote session of Hydrovision International July 22. It's an honor for me to participate in events like Hydrovision because it's an opportunity for us to come together because it is a team sport and we're going to accomplish uh, the success of these challenges uh, through innovative ideas, creative ideas, techniques and examples from all throughout the country. The general noted how the nation needs to invest more to maintain the nation's infrastructure. He said the Corps is finding innovative ways of funding $3.4 billion needed to rehabilitate its hydropower facilities that have aged beyond their design life. We produce annually 70 billion kilowatt hours of green renewable energy enough to power 30 cities the size of Nashville. There are many rules and regulations that we have to operate under in order to properly operate our hydropower facilities, but we do that with our partners and we think we do it well. The Nashville District showcased its local projects during the conference. On July 21, the tour group visited the Kentucky Lock Edition project in Grand Rivers, Kentucky, on the Tennessee River where the Corps is constructing a new 1,200 foot by 110 foot navigation lock that will reduce the time vessels lock through. The group then toured Barkley Power Plant in Cuttawall, Kentucky on the Cumberland River. It's different to see how, um, how much variation there is between plants. You know, like there, it really seems like there's no two that are alike and what they do and you know the equipment that they have. A tour group also traveled July 21 to the Old Hickory Power Plant on the Cumberland River in Hendersonville, Tennessee. They spent time in the gallery, generator floor area, control room, wheel pit, and looked at generator equipment. In the hydro field there's lots of specialties and there, we have our own challenges uh, and I want, I want to hear the stories of uh, the people from around the world that are in the dam safety area as well and maybe learn from them and see what I can do better. When we step out, I'll open up and let you actually look at the underside of the rotor. A group of scholars from the Hydro Research Foundation Fellowship Program also took a hydro basics tour at Old Hickory. They are part of a group of more than 50 students from 27 universities that are funded by the U.S. Department of Energy's Wind and Water Program to conduct conventional and pump storage hydropower related research as part of their master's or doctorate's level research. Oh, today at Old Hickory with the Army Corps of Engineers was an incredible day for 12 of the students. They've never been in a hydropower project before today. They've been outside around. Uh, but to actually go inside and to see how the power is generated is, is literally the first time for a lot of these students and it forever changes their eyes in terms of hydropower and, and how turning water into fuel just makes so much sense. A local Vanderbilt graduate student said the technical tour was very beneficial given her focus on water resources. I do water quality modeling so whether they're spilling or running through the turbines or you know adding storage that all has an impact on water quality upstream. Another tour group traveled July 22 to Center Hill Dam on the Caney Fork River in Lancaster, Tennessee. They spent time on the work platform where the Nashville District is installing a subsurface concrete barrier wall to stop seepage through the foundation of the embankment. Obviously there's some cutting edge work being done out here. Um, it's great to see that. You read about it, but it's good to see the drill rig. It's good to see some of this proprietary information and how it's working and how it might not be working. Um, it's also really nice to see a clean construction site. The group also toured the Center Hill Power Plant to see operations and to interact with the hydropower experts on the staff. When you talk to the people, you can see the pride and ownership and the fact that they like being involved with that facility. It was very clean, very well taken care of. The Chief of Engineers also visited Center Hill Dam and Power Plant July 22 and received updates on the seepage rehabilitation project and the district's hydropower rehabilitation program, which will rehab 28 hydropower generators over 20 years. He recognized some top performers and expressed his gratitude for the professionalism and pride on display at the project. The fun thing about getting out is seeing the work that the Corps does and seeing the people that are involved in the work that we do. And, and the Corps has got a great reputation. We've got a great reputation in the United States and internationally. 
and that reputation is set every day based on the work that each and every one of the teammates do and whether you're a park ranger, a contractor, safety, quality, engineer, uh, all of the different skill sets that we have, you're contributing in a big way. This is Lee Roberts reporting for the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers Nashville District at Music City Center in Nashville, Tennessee.